All right, people, welcome back. More d and commentary. We actually have someone on here who hasn't been around in forever. Where have you been? Welcome back, Slate. <laughs> yeah, uh, I've been in the fiery depths of hell. <laughs> all right. So. Along with all the decks that win worlds. <laughs> hey, Teller Knights won worlds, and they barely got tapped. <laughs> they did, but do you see anybody playing them? No. <laughs> exactly. I kind of wonder what happened to them. Like, if there's, like, any deck that would be playing, like, Carter Demise, it would be that deck. It would be, like, summon Deneb, set, get, like, Altair, set my Call of the Haunted Oasis back or all that shit, Carter Demise. Sure, I'm going to pitch that Altair that I just searched, but, I mean, it goes to the Great River for my revival, so. <laughs> I just wrote down, I just wrote down in my phone, Carter Demise Tellers. <laughs> no, I'm totally gonna, I'm totally going to try that out. That's awesome. I have the, I have the Teller Core I, uh, in real life. I have the, the whole, the whole shebang. Um... So mm -hmm. I've never yeah, seen Sideframes Duel before, so... Yeah, yeah. that's interesting. Uh, they they kind of faded in and out of popularity, but uh, uh, it should be interesting. So we have Coco Bird at 1218 playing the Magic Specters, and the Yuchi Hungary, and I believe this is Yuchi off of Mega Capital G stream. That, that's a lot of experience at 1279. Like, this man plays Yuki all the damn time. Uh, yeah, so I don't know what that means. What's, what's Yuchi from? Uh, Yuchi is just a guy off of Mega Capital G's stream. Like, I think he's an admin, so I think that he's, he, he, I think he guessed a little on Mega Capital G's channel, too, so I think he's a little bit, you know, popular in the community just for being, you know, a Mega Capital G person. Okay. That's cool. Yeah. yeah um. I tried to be a Mega Capital G stream person, but I, I kind of got gypped, so. Well, yo, so, um, I actually got my I, I don't know if I've ever told you the story, but my one friend Anti Meta Man, who some of you guys might know from his YouTube channel, uh, was dueling with uh, Claudians, and he made Big Eye in the deck. And uh, I pointed out to Mega Capital G. I just messaged him on DN. I guess he was really nice with me, but I messaged him on DN. I'm like, you know, come look at this duel. My friend just made Big Eye and Claudians, and I guess that caught his eye because he came. He watched the rest of that duel, and then he followed my friend around. Yeah, uh, yeah, so he got good to uh, record. Yeah, yeah, actually, a video. Yeah, that'd be less, uh, won't be that much overtime. Yeah, uh, apparently, uh, like I said, we need to figure out. I want, I would love for him to be uh, in season two, but like I said, there's gonna be some meta, so like yeah, I said, he, uh, could, he could play some like some past meta and add his own flair to it. Yeah. yeah, I'll see. I'll see how he. I'll see how he's uh, responds to that. I haven't, I haven't mentioned him the whole past the past X thing yet. But yeah. He's not very fond of meta. <laughs> that, that's pretty much the theme for season two. Is yeah. decks of the past, like 2015 versus 2016. You know, because you know with the that last ban list in November in the Duelist Alliance era, pretty much is getting cut off. We never got to really figure out, you know, how strong the decks those decks are, and you know their power in comparison to. The decks of now, so I think that would be a pretty interesting thing. Yeah. So, what was the first set to end the dual the dual alliance era? It really wasn't a set. It was the November list where Cleves got kicked in the mouth, uh, Necros got kicked in the mouth, Shadows died. You know, that yeah. kind of ended it. And then it was like Cosmos stepped up. Yeah, and then it. it was like Cosmos and like Burning Abyss, and then PK Fire came in, Monarchs came in. So, well, but we're talking about Clee, like the. Klee is still, you know, a thing, unfortunately, so... Well, Klee became a thing because of Carter Demise. Yeah, I know. Um, you know, without, with it, before Carter Demise, I mean, they were nothing, you know, Scout at one. I think, I think they topped, like, one regional, but outside of that, they really didn't do anything. Yeah. Now, of course, they're more of a back row-related deck, so, you know. Not even just back row. They, they don't even run regular back row. They just run floodgates, because none of them hurt them. Yeah, hey, <laughs> fuck it. Floodgates, hate back rows, that's what you do, Carter Demise, I mean... That's, a card we, we kind of talked about in the previous Dando commentary, but you know, I wouldn't be surprised if next list we see that card banned because that card is getting a little bit ridiculous. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, like that, that sounds like brought up a pretty good point. Like, uh, if you really think about it, depending on how you play it and when it's played, that card's better than Graceful Charity. Well, I don't know why. I mean, it doesn't make sense that they would make a card like that when all the other cards that they've made like that are either banned or they have a restriction that makes them, like, super terrible. So, like... I mean, uh, they thought that the, the restriction was super terrible. It's like, what, you can't special summon and well, you draw up to three cards and you pitch the cards in your hand during the end phase? Yeah, yeah. so the idea, I think, was that you're supposed to, you know, 
you're not <laughs> you're not supposed to not discard anything during the end phase, but they didn't make it sort of like a minimum one thing that they could they could have made, so it would be like slightly balanced, I guess. I don't know. It's just really, really disappointing. Yeah. Um. I'm gonna look at the exact text real quick. Yeah. So they take no damage, and then you send your entire hand to the uh, graveyard at the end of the turn, and then you can't special summon. Okay. Um. So yeah, there's a clear type of deck that would run that. Ooh, the twin twist are cracking that uh the plays. You should go over here with the with the med, I mean the side frame them some the side frame. So I'm gonna be I'm gonna be honest right now. When I first read Twin Twister when it was announced or whatever, like I I didn't think it was gonna become what it became because uh it's just it's it's just the go to blowout card now for back row, uh, especially in formats where back row isn't like isn't like too too um popular. Um, you know, just having that blow up too, that that's often their entire back row because there's not a lot of back row this format, so uh, I thought Twin Twister was going to be sucky because the because the discard cost, but nobody has a problem with it at all. Every deck that runs it can afford the discard cost, and yeah. a lot of decks can. Um, like it's to the point where Twin Twisters is in more main decks than MST. Yeah, yeah, Twin, Twi Twin Twisters is main deck more than MST. Yeah, the f I go ahead and talk about how there's not back row in this format, and then Magic Specters come up in set four. <laughs> oh well. That's just an yeah. It's a, yeah, it says yeah, Coco Bird's not do doing anything. Yeah. Yuchu can't really do anything because uh, it uh, Cypherms is more of a counter deck. Like everything that you, you know, it responds to you. I negate your your monster effect. I negate your spell. You know, I negate your trap. So, speaking oh. of another very powerful card that went on hit. Yeah, strike. Oh man, I don't know whether to get these or not. Uh. Well, I mean, do you think there will be a list before? Do you think there will be a list between now I've, and? That's I, between now and Nats? No. I think the list will be after Nats. Okay, because... <laughs> great. <laughs> after Nats. After Nats before Worlds. All Sometime right, so in late July, early August. Okay, so I should get the strikes as soon as I... as like as soon as possible so I can use them for the longest time. Yeah. I'm gonna, I need them for Nats, of course. Um, yeah. I, I mean, I don't know if I'm gonna... You gonna pick up that. Drowning Mirror Force? Because that card is just so good. Uh, Probably not. I think I'm gonna run Monarchs, and my deck doesn't run any traps right now. So. Okay. Except for the Monarch trap, of course. And then, yeah. and then I guess you're gonna run Strike with it. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's what I'm saying is that I'm not sure if I need. I to mean, like, look at look at it. So when it comes to the, the ratio, do you think that should be hit? Because personally, I think it should. I think that Strike oh, I is think a, Strike should be hit. Yeah. Oh, of course. Yeah. Yeah. I feel Strike is a is a solemn S card. Therefore, you should be at one. Like there's it's no there's no if ands or buts about it. But I kind of feel like Twin Twisters should probably go down to two two as well. Because three Twin Twisters to the one Strike that's a blowout. Like it just reminds me because okay, so one of the things that I've always uh, talked about is with Exiton. The game was different before Exiton, and now that Ex Exiton's banned, the game's different again. So um, even if Strike's at one. The game was one way before Strike came out, and now that Strike is existent, even if it's going to be at one, even if it's going to be a staple, until it gets banned, you know, if it does get banned, the game is going to be forever changed. Like yeah, it's, like it, 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 with... it, it forever has earned its impact. Like, even at, even if it gets limited to one, it'll still be like oh, Strike. Same thing it, with Warning. But we can't. I, I just don't understand how Konami can have a card like that live for an, another list. Like, if anything, I thought maybe they would put it to two for this list and then one for the next list, but they didn't even hit it. It's like what? Maybe they'll maybe they'll like ban warning and put strike at one. Like that's the thing that I don't understand is that the the, the cards are kind of like kind of similar in a way, right? So yeah. having a strike and a warning is just as if warning was at two for all these formats. So I don't know. Um, I I personally I'd be fun with each of them at one. They 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 they're similar, but they don't both do the same thing. But, but they definitely like, earn their spot. At that, one. Like it's like the th the thing with Exiton with with before strike existed. The game was different than now that strike exists. Like, if we have a warning and a strike, that's different than before when we could only have the warning. Do you see what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. like it's just weird because the introduction of such a, such a staple card, such a powerful card. I don't know, and and, and it's, it's not like I don't really want to say it's. I don't know. I don't know if it's broken. Um, strike. Yeah. Strike is broken. You think it's okay? I mean, it can be dead. Um, I don't know if I don't know what the life point. Like what said. would the life point cost be though? Like, if we we're gonna make it even. First of all. First of all, in terms of effects, just effect. What's better, strike or warning? Not not cost, but just effect. Because strikes... I'd say warning. But the thing about strike is that they can have an established board and you can draw strike, and then when they activate that effect, you can strike it still. This is, there's certain situations that that warning can hit for, you know, inherent summons that strike can't hit. You that, mean, mean non-inherent summons? 
Well, no, they're both inherent summons, but... Uh, well, no, no, because warning can just stop special summons. I can act, yeah. I can stop the special summons if something's not like well, I strike. I can only stop inherent summons. You know, mm -hmm. if you activate a particular spell card that special summons, and I don't want you to have that, I can warn you. That. I can't strike that. It's nice to see somebody running card card D. I was telling one of my friends about that, my friend Chris. Why run card card D when you can run freaking uh, card demise? I, I well, does this guy run both? Probably, yeah. So because... that's what I'm saying though, is that. My friend well, Red uh, card demise probably not because you want your you want your cypherns in your hand. You play your cypherns from your hand, so okay. no. He plays so card. He play, He plays card card in cypherns. And also, the this deck doesn't look like it normal summons that much, so I think card card would fit well. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't normal summon at all. Like it, yeah. they play their shit. The monster effects have to go off when you control no monsters. So card card D play it. Draw. Like, I don't have any monsters, and uh, and of course drowning mirror force because I don't have any monsters. Of all this, like of all the pseudo. Uh, uh, Pot of greeds that have ever been made, Card Card D is the most restricted and most balanced. Yeah, well, that, that, that's yeah, that's kind of what I mean. Yeah, like even like, a new one, uh, Pot of Cupidity. That's broken. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Like Card Card D, Card Card D is one that I can totally understand it being a three. Like I showed it to my friend. Card Card D is a good card, right? Card Card D is a good card. Yeah, Card Card D is a great, is a great card. But I, but I showed it to my friend, and he's like, he read this, and he's like, I, why would anybody ever play this? There's just nothing. You, you just basically you like lose a turn. Basically, you know, but you pot a greed. He doesn't really understand it. Huh? No, 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 but you pot a greed. Yeah. I mean, it's yeah. it's it's sort of like, um, it's sort of like card of demise in the in the sense that you can only run it in certain decks. Um, but you're drawing two cards and not three. <laughs> so. And wow, I guess there's, there's a lot of hate from both ends in this opponent. We're not even paying attention to the duel, not really, but... I mean, we're, we're talking about the cards there in the duel. We're just not talking about the plays that the decks are making. Yeah, strike is broken. Uh, yeah. 1,500 to stop any inherent summon, which means, of course, you put, like, any horn out of business. Like, yeah, it'd be nice to go ahead and play, like, you know, Grand Horn. Yeah, with, like yeah that, exactly. Why? You know? Strike and me. and another thing, any monster effect from anywhere? Mm -hmm. For 15? Come on. Come okay. on. So, but if it's broken, shouldn't we ban it? Uh, it's it's broken at multiples. Like I said, I got I I I, I don't feel the, the 15 cost, which is very situational. Stop any monster effect for the 15 and the inherent summon. I think it's fine at, at one. I don't I don't think it's ban worthy. Dude, it's not me? it's not it's not solemn judgment where you pay like once and you know. Like I, I can't say you. you yeah, well that's weird. Then that's that's hypocritical. I mean, I guess I'm saying that strike isn't broken, but like I have. Always, Bro I've always are, are you saying broken not to the point where it should be banned? Well, yeah, well, I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm of the mind that that um, that I, I think Judgment could come back. Like, what I was telling you, I was just making it a hypothetical that we banned Strike if you thought it was broken, but I personally don't think Strike is broken, so... So, yeah. I don't know. I just think it's weird having... Well, what you, well it really depends on your definition of broken. I just have... Yeah, I mean, I know, but I, I just have... Like, one Strike and one Warning doesn't sit well with me, because it'll just be in every deck. Every deck's gonna have one Strike and one Warning. Yeah. So... Like, even with Twin Twisters, you know, not every deck can run Twin Twisters. Every deck can run Strike. I'm just saying, I, I, I kind of feel like one would be the appropriate card. I think, well, I think one would be the appropriate spot. I don't think anybody would really complain if it was at one. But at multiples, it's kind of broken. I guess, kind of I guess somebody, I just gotta see if somebody can, like, identify with me how I feel about, like, before it existed, you know, obviously mm -hmm. that's, that's equivalent to... I mean, it would definitely influence, you know, x tony shit, you know. Yeah, that's, that's, of that's course, I can tell the time before it existed. Because, I mean, right now, you drop x in the morning. <laughs> get right. You can strike, you can strike x too. So. Yep, and he won't even get to go off, so. so. But Twin Twister, Twin Twister could be a blow at times, too. Oh, yeah, that's, that's that, that was the first point that I made, is that, you know, since there's so few back row in the format, Twin Twister is all you need to be to blow at your opponent's back row and get that plus if the discard is something that you can use. Mm-hmm. So, I, I definitely think that both of them, both of them should be... You know what it reminds me of is, uh, Twin Twister reminds me sort of like, it's like sort of like Icarus Attack. Yeah, yeah, for in a sense. For every sense. Just for back row. Just for every deck, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, I'm, just, I'm just trying to compare the back row to, you know, destruction ratio. It definitely seems like, you know, when it comes to TCG, it's like, yeah, we don't have no, you know, complete blowout cards like, um... You know, like Heavy Storm or Fe Feather Duster, but in exchange, we have less back row. We have Wait, bottomless. they don't have Heavy Storm, do they? Uh, no, they have Harpy's Feather Duster. They banned Heavy Storm and brought back Heavy F Harpy's Feather Duster. Yeah, that was a while ago. Yeah, I knew about that. Yeah, and that's all they did. Except for in China. China's different. 
Yeah, we don't need to talk about China. Because <laughs> they're on fucking crack, so. <laughs> they're on, what, opium. Opium? <laughs> That's from China, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know anything about drugs. <laughs> <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> uh, Ooh. Um, and, uh, feel them. Turn them like, from that yeah, Omega. I think... <laughs> Not that this, not that we need to continue this conversation, but the the poppy plant, um, is like is like. A, is this man talking? We're <laughs> really gonna talk, start talking about drugs. <laughs> I, I have my limited knowledge, right? All right. So. Yeah, I was not saying. So, Twin Twister, I feel like two would be okay. One, one, one's a little bit too hard, especially for the ratio that's played. But I don't think you should be able to just throw in three Twin Twisters in every deck and blow your opponent away. I so do a lot of I mean so I've been a little bit behind on the topping deck profiles so a lot of decks run three twin twister because I've seen a lot yeah. of two but not a lot of three. I've been seeing a lot of three. I mean, yeah, that's just probably my ignorance. Um, yeah. so wh how does macro help against magic specters? Don't they just tribute for cost? Yeah. So yeah, so I don't think macro is doing that much. No. <clears throat> oh, this is game one. No, it's game two. Then but why, he, he probably main decks it because it's just. You know, banish your shit. Is uh, it good in? Is it good in Psy Frame Lords for any reason? Like, yeah, they in Psy Frame they like to banish. Okay, so that's why. Okay. <sighs> so they have a normal monster. Yeah, they, they, their, their deck pretty much revolves around the normal monster. How do they utilize the normal monster? Uh, they all their monsters when they negate you. You uh, special summon the the normal monster from your hand deck or graveyard. Oh wow, that's mm -hmm. that's super interesting. And then, um, if cool you have your field spell, you can synchro summon during your opponent's turn. Therefore, you know the deck really revolves around its field spell, so it sucks that Yuchi right now doesn't have his field spell set up. I mean, it's cool to, um, it's cool that Konami focuses attention uh, on older game mechanics such as normal monsters, um, and they try to bring them back in like new and exciting ways. Kind of, you know what I mean? Um, like the only reason normal monster is being played is because every card in the deck, or uh, apparently. Uh, states its actual name on it. You know what I mean? Like, if it just said summon a side frame monster, nobody would play the normal monster. You know what I mean? Mm hmm So. That just reminds me, you know, like, Rescue Rabbit and all, uh, cards like that, like, that incorporate, you know, not only normal monsters, but just, like, older game mechanics into the game. Like, when they made the whole new tune support stuff, you know, there hadn't been any tune support in years. Now they get one, like, every pack. Yeah. Tune, tune red eyes. Tune we get a normal condition. monster pretty much every pack, too. And they're on archetypal pendulum way generally. Like uh, side frames, they came out. They kind of they kind of did a little bit and then kind of went away, except for one particular card that continues to uh, be expensive to this day. What the synchro? Yeah, that's right on the field right now. Look at that. Put your mouse over that him and be like, God damn. He's pretty. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, side frames actually getting a new card and that will come back. back. Uh, it's it's a guy who pretty much. Is like driver, like normal monster level six. Uh, his name, I believe, it counts as driver while in the hand or graveyard. In uh, he can block from destruction of your cyphering card. So generally, the way you can easily beat this deck is you just crack their field spell. So you could use that monster to protect your field spell, and then if you summon a cyphering monster and he's in a graveyard, you can special summon him. So from he, the graveyard. he basically makes driver irrelevant. Uh, well, he doesn't count as driver in the deck, so you still gotta play driver to summon him from the deck. Good, that's good. I was gonna get really upset. <laughs> yeah, so he's uh, not he's completely relevant, but you don't have to run, you know, mandatory three driver like you probably used to. Um, yeah, so you mentioned this, but another one of the ways that they support for monsters is the whole normal pendulum support that they had for a while. Mm hmm. You know, there were, there were uh, cards that specifically stated, you know, on pendulum cards, you know, these go with normal monsters. <clears throat> and then there were just a lot of normal pendulum monsters. Kind of wondering if Coco Bird can come back into this. Like, kind of seems like Yuchi has control of the duel. Despite, even without right? the field spell, which you're hyping up so much. Yeah, yeah. Even without the field spell, because generally what they do is that you play something, you'll negate it, you'll summon that side frame monster, you'll summon and summon your driver. Your field spell allows you to synchro summon during your opponent's turn. Therefore, you synchro summon before your monsters get banished, because that's what happens with uh, the side frame monsters. Your uh, monsters get banished that you summon. Mm -hmm. That's just. Uh, during your end phase, banish this face, uh, face up special summon monster by this effect. So, so macro doesn't hurt psi frames at all. No. And it hurts what decks in the meta? Uh, yeah, it hurts PA, I guess, because I know that one. PA hurts monarchs a little bit, depending. Yeah, it hurts monarchs. No, it hurts, definitely hurts monarchs, because 
Arts really? Monarchs, Arts BA, and Arts Cosmos. So. Nice. Yeah, that, that's oh, a good that's thing. Everybody. Yeah. So, well, I saying, if, if I would do a top 10 best decks in the format, I would definitely put Cypherns on there. I've, I'm surprised I've never seen them there because I have been playing, you know, playing. Well, I, I mean, it's just really hard to say, you know, top 10. That's fairly broad when, you know, it's the four best decks, four to five best decks that are always topping. So I would say this would be probably like eight or nine. Well, yeah, I mean, it depends how, like, closely knit you'd. I mean, like, some people would say Monarchs, but some people would say that's two decks. There's, you know, Monarchs, and there's Monarchs with an extra deck. So, mm -hmm. so. so. so anything Monarch-related, anything, you know, Phantonite-related, anything, you know, uh, Cosmo-related, then you got, uh, you know, still got Draco Pals. They're not dead. So. And then there's also, there's two different engines to run Monarchs with. Mm -hmm. um, you can play the Super Quantum engine, or you can, or Super Quantal, I don't know what they're called. Super Quant. <laughs> the Super Quant engine, and the, uh, uh, little monarch guys. What are they called? Idea and and Eidos. What are they called? Mm -hmm. uh, squires. The squires. Oh. Squires. There are two different versions to, to engines for monarchs, and then there's oh, so. there's, there's, yeah, there's a lot of things. And of course, you still got mermels, and yeah, so you still got heroes. Denklaw. You even got tricking. Uh, uh, People run heroes still. Yeah, Denklaw is Denklaw, man. You got PK. There's even uh, freaking PK heroes, man. Mm. All right, so I haven't even read this dude. Later. What does Omega do? He can, oh, he picks a card. So he's like a, he's like a Mulan Glacia kind of. <laughs> he temporarily he he picks a card out of your opponent's hand to banish himself, and then he comes back to the same phase. But he can only activate during either main phase, so it's not like he can hop out away during the battle phase. So if a you know battle trap hits him, then he gets fucked up. But he's a very powerful mod. He's really monster is really hard to get your hands on you know around his neck at times. Oh, so wait, does the other guy get his card back? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. I don't even know if that's that. Whoa! Full house! Ooh! Talk about blowout cards. Mm hmm. So, gone. Dude, gone, I love. Gone, full gone, house. gone, gone. I, lo I love full house. Like, it's just so great with, with Pendulum's existent because the, the hard part of full house used to be the two face ups, right? Mm hmm. But there's always face up cards now. Damn. That's amazing. So. Did he, did he have to target any of his own cards, or did he only target... Yeah, he had, to, he had to target some of his own cards. Oh, okay. That's not good. Oh, well, one of them was the, the trap that he already has, so I guess that's not too bad. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I don't know if that's a card that you'd want in multiples, like a... Like a, uh... I don't know too much about Cypherns. I haven't seen them too much, so it's interesting Black to see Yuchi, Yuchi playing. I guess I should probably read the cards. I know I know what Magic Spectres do. I, did I, I messed around with them on DN for a little bit, but... I mean, yes, fucking that macro is fucking with the magic specters because usually they will go back to extra deck, but no, they're getting banished. Ah, uh, yeah, of course. Yeah. That's something that I didn't think about. Yep. Yeah, there's That's that why macro spell. is one of the best cards. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Definitely deserves to be at lim limited. Mm -hmm. it's you know, all there. they need to do is eradicate, so you have to summon a Helios. <laughs> yeah, that'd be so, nice. Summon a Helios, and if you do, while well, this card is facing on the field, any card that says the Graver is banished is dead. No, but, I mean, if they did that. Do you think people would run Helios? <laughs> yeah, to get off macro Probably and the decks that you Yeah, hell yeah, they would. Because Helios has an effect that's like semi good, right? Doesn't it like gain attack for for your banished cards or something like that? I think so, especially with Pot of Cupidity. Mm -hmm. Oh damn! <laughs> well, wow. Wait, let me go read Helios right now. Yeah, read read Helios because I don't remember her effect at the top of my mind. But oh, it's a girl. I don't know. It's a that's a thing. It's, uh... <laughs> it's the sun, isn't it? <laughs> Um, Helios the Primordial Sun, or primor Primordial Sun. Uh, this card's attack and defense are each equal to the number of removed from play monsters times 100. Okay, so you don't know if those set cards are monsters or not, so it wouldn't get anything else about cupidity. Yeah. That's not even good. Oh, wait, <laughs> but it has, like, forms. Mm hmm. Okay. So what's the, what's the big one do? You're supposed to win this card by attributing a Helo duo. This card's second offense are equal to the roof from play cards times, let's say, 300. It's kind of blurry. Times 300. After it attacks, it can attack once more if your opponent controls a monster. So it can attack monsters twice. <laughs> this is such, like, old text. <laughs> hmm. uh, and then it floats for itself in the end phase. Wow. And it gains 500 attack and defense. That's amazing. Dude, that, that card is not to be fucked with. That's a good card. Mm-hmm. You can do some shit with that shenanigans. Dude, that is that is good. Wow. 
I didn't expect it to be good. Hey, I'm shocked that I didn't expect it to be good. I yeah. think this duel might be over. Yeah. Oh yeah, thousand life points, right? It's gotta yeah. be. Hey. What's he got in his hand? Like, look at all the resources that freaking Ichi has in comparison to Coco Bird. What is that? Oh, uh, that that gets rid of it. That gets rid of it. Uh, the trap card. Yeah. Game. GG. Yep. Cool. All right, game three. Huh. I don't. I don't think I ran this field spell. Is it due? All right, game three. So that was, that was a good duel, like Ichi. Ichi was showing the strength of some side frames. Like, okay, I see you. <laughs> that duality card card combo. Yep. That's classic right there. <laughs> I, I used know. to run that in a... What's it? Malefics? Malefics used to have card card into it. Whoa! Whoa. Wow, that's... But why? He that's so anticlimactic. He must have DC'd. He had to have. Cause he no, he says, that, he says, I gotta go. You can have it. Oh, damn. Apparently, Yuchi's busy. Uh, Yuchi's a busy man. Let's go and deal with Mecha Capital G on the stream, I guess. I don't even know if Mecha Capital G is streaming this day. <laughs> but wow, that, that didn't come out. I kind of wanted to see the outcome of that. Oh, well. Oh, that's, that's, that's it for now. So, uh, anyway, thank you, Slate, for joining me. Yeah, definitely. It was, it was nice uh, having you back. So, mm -hmm. uh, you, of course, you are invited to Season 2 of Yu-Gi-Oh! Tier Draft League. So. Oh, yeah. Can't wait. Yeah, that's it. Like I said, I'll probably be, uh, you know, getting more in depth with it, and, and uh, uh, after my birthday. Okay. Because my birthday is like, like, a week away. <laughs> yeah, I'm big on the Yugi's guys. I'm, I'm, you know, getting back on my grind. I'm watching videos, and I'm gonna be making videos. So. Yeah, so yeah. I guess I'll put his link in the description. No, for real, do it, do it. I'm not doing. <laughs> It's there anyway, isn't it? Like. <laughs> yeah, it, it's it's literally always there in every daily duels video. So. Awesome. So, uh, anyway, be sure to uh, hit that subscribe button for Slate's channel. I think I actually have to resubscribe too. Are you kidding me? No. <laughs> I wasn't sure if you were still posting or not. So yeah. when I was cleaning up, I was like, I'm, I guess Slate is done. I unsubscribed, but I guess I got to resubscribe. So. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't posted in like freaking yeah, no, years. It's, yeah, it's been too long. Yeah, no, it, I, I, that's on me. You know. Like you, you were dead. Like you were the RJB zero. You were dead. <laughs> well, he's actually like doing things he's not dead he's just like in college double majoring in like hey, hey, on his grind. Hey. oh and i'm not in college majoring yeah i mean i i don't know i guess he's you know <laughs> all right no so he's we're done you know he's got a wife and stuff so. yeah yeah anyway. those, those you know i hear those are kind of like you know time consuming why <laughs> i don't know <laughs> all right people thanks for watching